Greetings to all of humanity. It's really a joy. It's a pleasure. It's an honor to be out here as usual, especially early, so early this morning where I can look at the rising of the sun after I would have done my meditation and sending all my intention with the rising of the sun. It gives me real joy and pleasure to be bringing this message of self-realization to you when pointing you to look inwardly to discover your true identity to be your divinity. That's the reason why I want to speak to you on a very important topic this morning that is taken from the Bible, from the book of Hebrews chapter 13. And you can actually read from verses 1 to verses 2 and you can read it the whole thing if you choose to. Okay, but at this point in time, there's just a specific verse I would like to elaborate upon. Now, let me just say this, that many a times the reason why I do not go into breaking down an entire chapter is because I just want to make the video uh, so long. Okay, so whether is it 10 minutes, 30 minutes, I just want to make it that long. But if you're a person who are interested and would like to get longer videos, there are longer videos I normally upload on my Patreon. And also there are longer videos that I actually have on Amazon Prime. Okay, and I'm, and I'm working and putting even much, much more for you. Okay, so with all of that being said, I want to speak to you concerning, as I would have said before, Hebrews 13, where it is said that you must not be forgetful to entertain strangers. For you would entertain angel unaware. And I want to break it down and explain it for you. Therefore, my main topic is that the power of open-mindedness would bring you the right message. So I want to teach you how the Bible is teaching you of the power of having an open mind. But before I can do that, I want to let you know first of all that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically. That the Bible is not literal, neither is the Bible secular history. And that the Bible was written symbolically. And that it has no reference to anyone that existed thousands of years ago or to any actual event that took place upon earth thousands of years ago. From Genesis 1 to Revelation 22, it's all a great psychological drama. It all have to do with the human psyche. Therefore, I'm going to delve right into the scripture at this moment and read it for you. Where it begins by saying, let brotherly love continue. It is teaching you how to understand oneness. It is teaching you here how to understand that we are all connected. It is teaching you here how to understand how thought works. It is teaching you how to understand that everything is a vibrational frequency because we're living in a thought world. We are living in a world whereby you have to come to understand the divine law of mentalism. That everything was for us a thought. Everything was for us an idea. You have to know that to understand what it means by saying brotherly love. Because you have to understand oneness. Okay? Then it's a be not forgetful to entertain strangers which is saying you must not forget to be open-minded you must not forget to be more aware you must not forget to learn to listen to things that would be said to you that might not fit your religious belief might not fit your political belief might not fit your educational belief it might not fit the beliefs that were taught to you from your parents, your teachers, your, your, your pastors, our religious leaders. It might not fit all of that. But here it is instructing you that you must remember to listen even if you don't agree. At least listen and have an open mind. It is teaching you that you are shutting out certain things from yourself when you're not open-minded and then it says that when you become open-minded and you entertain the things 
that seem strange to you are the things that you're not accustomed to. He say, for thereby some have entertained angels unaware. Now, let us look at who and what is an angel. An angel is a messenger. And what bring message to you and from you? It's your thoughts. So your thoughts are bringing messages to you and from you to instruct you and to lead you and to guide you so you can come into a higher place of self-realization, that you can come to a higher place of awareness. So when you entertain thoughts by listening to someone, because when someone's speaking to you, you have to realize that a word is a thought expressed. And we all are thought evolved beings. Because our mother and our father, they had a thought before they went to bed to bring me and you here. And so, because we are thought evolved beings, and we are all one, and there's only one consciousness, and we all depend on one power, because there's only one power. And the same power can use to put you in the gutter, and the same power can be used to lift you higher. So there's only one consciousness. That's the reason why many wise men, they disagree on many subjects, but there's only one thing that they are in unanimous agreement with, and it is that we become what we think about most of the time. So here yeah, you've been instructed, not, you must not be forgetful to entertain the ideas of others or uh, entertain the philosophy of others at least give them a listening ear hear what they have to say because you cannot judge a matter and you haven't heard the matter you cannot tell someone of the taste of the pudding and you haven't tasted the pudding so the proof of the pudding is in the tasting or in the eating you have to partake and then you are a witness of the taste. So here he says that unaware. He says some have entertained angels unaware. Some have come into a place of greatness. Because they were open minded. Some have come to a place of riches. Because they were open minded. Some have come to a place of discovering their true identity to be their divinity. Because they were open minded. So my brother my sisters. You can keep yourself down. Or keep yourself in a place of mediocrity. Keep yourself in a place of limitation. Just because you're not open minded. Just because you're not willing to listen. Because you have taken on false identity. You have taken on limitation. And you believe that this this is what you are in terms of whatever you choose, whether you choose to be, say, let me use religion for, for, for example. If, if you choose to be a Methodist, or you choose to be an Anglican, or you choose to be a Seventh-day Adventist, or, or, or you choose to be a Jehovah Witness, and so on. And when you look at the divine of reproduction that every seed and every species reproduce after its own, can you realize that a mango can produce no other life but a mango life? A coconut can produce no other life but a coconut life. A pumpkin can produce nothing else but a pumpkin life. So my brother and my sisters, here it is teaching you that you are to be open-minded. But the reason why many are not open-minded, it is because many believe that the Bible is literal and the Bible is secular history. But the basis of my teaching is that the Bible addresses the human mind and must be interpreted psychologically, as I would have said before. Then it goes on to say here, after it says that you must entertain, you will entertain angels unaware. And I remember I mentioned to you that angel is a messenger, what bring message to you and from you. It is your thoughts. And I'm repeating myself because repetition is the key to help to 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 recondition your mind uh your subconscious mind so because the way how 
you are taught to believe certain things is because of repetition. They have you repeating these things over and over and over. Like when you go to school and when you go to church and so on. And even your parents that you grew up with, they keep telling you the same thing over and over and over. And so all of that register in your subconscious mind because of repetition. Okay? So I'm just reminding you, okay, of these things. And it says, remember them that are in bands as bound with them and them which suffer adversity as being yourselves also in this body so you see it goes right back to verses one we're telling you brotherly love where i was saying to you is oneness and saying that those who are bound and if you are bound you might just be be um fortunate enough to hear the right words being said I receive the right message. I receive the right instruction. Because why? You are open-minded. You are willing to listen to someone. Because my brother and my sisters, there are many, many people that I would have encountered who have never even listened to me properly uh, question me about my belief and what I believe, which is basically my experience. Because I don't teach anything outside of my experience. Because experience is the greatest teacher you see whenever you you speak things that you hear from others that is just parrot is in because you just regurgitating what you heard others say and you're actually being a false witness by that so you don't use that kind of style to teach others you speak of your experience you you, you speak of that which you know that's why in saint john chapter 3 it tells you we speak of that which we know because we've had the experience we have had the experience of the new birth the ball from the skull, the ball from above. Okay? So, with all of that being said, my brother and my sister, the main message I want to bring to you is that there is power in having an open mind. There is wisdom to be attained by having an open mind. And as an evolving being, because there was a time you couldn't talk, there's a time you couldn't walk, but you evolve and you keep getting higher and higher. And if you understand that process of evolution, you come to realize that you're never too old to learn. And you keep learning and learning and learning and learning. And that true awakening, uh, true enlightenment is you discovering and knowing, uh, realizing how much you do not know. And when you realize how much you do not know, it's going to give you more and more wisdom. Especially when you apply that which you would have heard and prove it for your own self and know it is the truth. Because that's how you know truth. Not by researching and, and googling things. Because many people today in, in this world that we are living in, many people are allowing themselves to have a Google mind. That way they want to Google everything and they believe they can argue and debate based on something that they Google. But my, my brother and my sisters, remember the computer, everything came out of the mind of man. Everything comes out of you. Because of what? Because of angels. Because you entertain angel you entertain messengers you entertain thoughts certain thoughts new thoughts thoughts that you never had before you entertain them you embrace them could you imagine a man speaking about he can communicate to people all over the world by a device he was gonna build could you imagine it hundred of years ago a man said that they would brand him as a crazy man as a madman like they brand me as a madman and i used the mad to let you know it means mystically adept divinity so my brother my sisters every invention it is because one would have entertained strangers and unaware they entertain angel and then we have the manifestation and even religious people are bragging and boasting of the things that they, they, they gain and saying god bless them with, with private jet god bless them with x among the vehicle god bless them with this big mansion but when we look at all of those things all of those things they were first a thought they were first imagined they were first in someone's mind and as i would have said before what bring messages to you and from you it is your thoughts that your angels communicating to you and when you entertain these strange thoughts that that never come to you before when you see the results that you get from them then you would realize that you have entertained angels and are aware 
So with that being said, my brothers and my sisters, I want to thank you very much for listening to me. And I want to say to you, if what I'm saying to you, if it's resonating with you, then it is for you. And if you haven't subscribed already, I'm encouraging you to subscribe, to like, to comment, and to share this message. And last of all, I want to let you know that this message I share with you, it is the single eye message of self-realization, which Matthew 6, 22 teaches us that if your eye be single, your whole body would be full of light. And had it been... That I would have had that experience where I would have awakened within myself like a fiery being and would have heard the unearthly wind and burst my crown chakra and came out in another form and became invisible. I would not hear bring this message to you and all giving you the symbol of the single eye and letting you know it is the capping of the pyramid right above the pyramid and showing you that from your shoulder up it's a pyramid from your shoulder to your waistline it's a pyramid and from your waistline to the shoulder of your feet it's a pyramid and it's the tree of life and when you eat from the tree of life you will come to realize that it is the rising of the s-u-n in a s-o-n and that is the dawning of a new day in your life and you come to realize why psalm 84 11 said the lord thy god is a son and a shield and no good thing with he withhold from you also, you come to realize why Malachi 4 and 2 say that the son as in the S-U-N of righteousness shall arise in you with healing in his wings. And then you come to also realize that without the son, there's no life and there's no light. And without the human imagination, there's anything made that was made. And that the son parallels the human imagination. The human imagination parallels the son. And the son is what powers all of humanity. Therefore, my brothers and my sisters, my encouragement to you is to use your mind power, which is your solar power, your creative power, your God power, to achieve your every desire by you embracing your, your angel because they bring strange news to you to lift you to a higher self. So with that means I want to say peace, love you all, I'm out.